Do you make use of animations in Articulate Storyline and do you want to loop them? In this video I'll show you how to easily create looping animations in Articulate Storyline 360 and other versions of Articulate Storyline. I'm Mark Spermon from Upward Online Learning and I teach instructional designers and e-learning developers how to create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And on this channel I share free Storyline tips so that you can easily create e-learning modules in Storyline yourself. And are you new here? Then don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. By default, Articulate Storyline does not have the ability to loop an animation. But there are several solutions to get this done in Articulate Storyline. And in this preview you'll see that I've created an animation of a walking boy. And now I'll show you how I've set this up in Articulate Storyline, step by step. To see how I've set this animation up in Articulate Storyline, I will close my uh, preview animation. And you can see that I've uh, created an uh, uh, Articulate Storyline project with only one slide and this slide has a base layer that you can see here and a slide layer that's called loop. And on this slide layer there are four uh, images of a walking figure and each image has a different position so you can see here. So and if you play these uh, images in a sequence it looks like if the boy walks. Now what I've done on this slide layer is I've uh, given the slide layer an amount of time of one second. And I placed the images uh, after each other and each image uh, can be seen uh, for a quarter of a second. So now I want to make this figure uh, walk. So the first thing that I have done is I created a trigger on the base layer. So I click my base layer and you can see here the trigger. And this trigger says show layer loop when the timeline starts. So when the timeline of my base layer starts, um, my slide layer loop uh, will be visible. But if I preview my uh, animation, you can see that it only takes a one step and I want to uh, keep the animation running. So what I've done on my uh, slide layer, I've created uh, two uh, triggers. And the first trigger ensures that the loop layer uh, disappears when the timeline of the loop layer ends. So I create a trigger that says hide layer, no, uh, which layer, this layer, when the timeline uh, ends of the layer loop. And the second trigger is a trigger that uh, shows the layer loop again. So I will create a trigger that says show layer, which layer, loop, when the timeline ends of the layer loop. So what this trigger does is when the timeline ends, first this trigger is fired, so the layer uh, loop will hide, and then, then the next tr trigger is fired, and it will uh, show the layer uh, from the beginning. And the next step is to check if the slide layer uh, has the right uh, property set for it. So when you click with your mouse, right mouse on your slide layer and go to properties, you see here uh, by revisits, it says when revisiting reset to initial state. So this means that Articula Storyline um, sets your uh, slide layer to the beginning and not to, uh, for instance, um, the half of the end. So, and when Articulate Storyline sets the slide layer to the beginning, it uh, jumps to the beginning of our animation. So our animation runs for one second, it ends, uh, Articulate Storyline hides this layer, and for the next uh, trigger is that it shows the layer, and the animation will play again and again. So this is how we created the loop in Articulate Storyline. And now this animation runs uh, continuously, but you can also uh, create um, a buttons that your uh, user can uh, stop and restart the animation. And I will show you how you can do this. So we'll go to the insert tab and I'll insert the shape. So this is my button. And on this button, I will create a new trigger. This trigger will say pause timeline for the timeline loop when the user clicks on 
object rectangle one so this is my button but now we can only uh, pass the animation and we want to want to uh, uh, start the animation again so I'll copy this button and you see articlet storyline automatically copies this, the the trigger that's attached to the button so I'll open this trigger and instead of pause timeline I click here on resume timeline for timeline I set the timeline for loop so that is the timeline of my slide layer when user clicks on rectangle tool and now let's preview this slide so you can see that the boy is walking when I click on the first button it stops and when I click on the second button the boy is walking again so now you have created a looping animation and you can also uh, pause your animation and uh, play your animation again. Did you like this video? Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get practical tips every week on creating e-learning with Articulate Storyline. Thanks for watching and until the next video.